Okay, now for this particular problem here, um, an employee's monthly productivity M in the number of units produced is found to be a function of the number of t, number T of years of service. Okay, so the productivity is related to the service here. For a certain product, a productivity function is, is shown below. Find the maximum productivity and the year in which it is achieved. So, we're looking for a critical point here for the maximum. So we have to take the strategy is to take the find the first derivative, give us a critical point. In this case here, once we find a critical point, we want to find out the output using the original function to find out what the max output is going to be. So here we're given our function. So I'll go ahead and I find that first derivative of that function to be here. Then I set equal to zero because I know the slope is zero at the max and at the min. So there's my critical point. Okay. Now we use a different rule here. Since we only have one critical point, it must be an extremum of some type. So we'll use the second derivative here to find out which one it is going to be, either a max or a min. So I take the sec derivative of this first derivative and it gives me a negative 8 here for my second derivative. It's negative, so we have a maximum. So we have a maximum when x is 22. And so when I go plug into the original function, the output at that year is two, 2036. So how do they describe that here? Um, therefore, the maximum productivity of 2036 units is achieved in year 22.